Have you ever pondered the importance of a narrow strip of water connecting two vast oceans? Welcome to the world of maritime trade, where the Malacca Strait plays a pivotal role. This slender waterway, stretching between the Indonesian island of Sumatra and the Malay Peninsula, is one of the most vital and busiest shipping lanes globally. Its strategic location serves as the main shipping channel between the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, linking major Asian economies such as India, China, Japan and South Korea. Over one-third of the world's shipping traffic navigates through this narrow passageway, carrying a myriad of goods from oil and natural gas to electronic devices and clothing. But it's not just about trade. The Malacca Strait is also an essential lifeline for countries dependent on energy imports, with about a quarter of the world's oil transported through it, making it a significant artery for global energy supplies. However, the Strait's importance comes with its share of challenges. Its narrowness, shallow waters and heavy traffic make it a difficult and treacherous route to navigate. This, coupled with the region's volatile weather conditions, can lead to shipping accidents, causing immense environmental and economic damage. And then, there's the ever-present threat of piracy. The Malacca Strait has long been a hotspot for maritime piracy, with pirates taking advantage of the busy shipping lane to target unsuspecting vessels. Despite efforts to curb these activities, piracy remains a persistent issue, contributing to the Strait's reputation as a high-risk area. So, given these challenges, what if there was a way to bypass this maritime choke point? Now, imagine a project that could potentially bypass this choke point. Enter Thailand's ambitious plan, a $28 billion land bridge. A proposal that has the potential to revolutionize trade routes and one that is making waves across the globe. At the helm of this grand vision is Thai Prime Minister Sreta Tavisin. The concept? A colossal land bridge to create a new trade route between the Pacific and Indian Oceans. A project of such magnitude is bound to have wide-reaching implications and the promise it holds for Thailand and the surrounding region is enormous. Imagine the potential of a new trade artery bypassing the congested Malacca Strait. The economic benefits could be substantial with increased trade flows, faster transit times and less reliance on a single bottleneck. For Thailand, it could mean a significant boost to the economy, creating jobs and fostering sustainable development. But it's not just about economics. This land bridge could potentially reshape the geopolitical dynamics of the region. By offering an alternative to the Malacca Strait, Thailand could assume a position of increased strategic importance, strengthening its role in regional and international trade. This grand proposal is more than just a massive infrastructure project. It's a vision of a new era of trade and development. A vision of a more interconnected and prosperous region. It's a testament to Thailand's ambition and its confidence in the future. However, as with all grand visions, this one too comes with its set of challenges. Concerns have been raised about the feasibility of the project, its transparency and its profitability. Despite the grandeur of the proposal, there has been limited interest from investors, further adding to the uncertainty. A bold vision indeed, but not without its share of controversy. As we delve deeper into this ambitious project, we'll explore these concerns and discuss the current status of the Land Bridge project. Stay tuned as we navigate the intricacies of Thailand's grand proposal. Every bold vision comes with its set of challenges and criticisms. As the curtains draw back on Thailand's grand proposal for a $28 billion land bridge, a chorus of concerns and criticisms rise from the audience of experts. At the forefront of these concerns is the conspicuous absence of a full-scale feasibility study. This raises eyebrows and questions, given the magnitude of the project. A feasibility study, after all, is the roadmap that delineates the journey from concept to reality, charting out potential obstacles and solutions. Next in line are the hushed whispers about transparency issues. For a project of such scale, clarity is not just a virtue, it's a necessity. The stakeholders need to be kept in the loop with regular updates and open communication channels. The absence of this transparency highlights potential pitfalls and risks that could jeopardize the project's success. Then we come to the uncertainty over the project's profitability. A $28 billion investment is not a small sum. It's a significant gamble and the payoff must justify the risk. But with no clear indicators of profitability, the question remains, is this a calculated risk or a leap of faith? Adding to these concerns is the lukewarm response from global investors. 
Despite the project being pitched far and wide, the interest from investors has been tepid at best. This lack of enthusiasm is a telling sign, a barometer of the confidence or lack thereof in the project's viability. These concerns and criticisms are not to be taken lightly. They are not mere road bumps, but potential roadblocks that could derail the project. They demand attention, careful consideration, and above all, decisive action. The road to realizing this grand vision appears to be filled with obstacles. So, where does the project stand today? Well, the $28 billion land bridge project, touted by Thai Prime Minister Sreta Tavisin as a game changer, seems to be in a state of flux. While the proposal has been pitched globally, it has been met with lukewarm interest from potential investors. There's a sense of caution in the air, and rightfully so. The project's feasibility, transparency and profitability are all under scrutiny, raising more than just a few eyebrows. The United States, one of the prime targets of Thailand's sales pitch, has yet to make any commitments. It seems the land of the free is playing its cards close to its chest, waiting for more concrete evidence of the project's viability. The same can be said for other potential investors. The promise of a new trade route between the Pacific and Indian Oceans is enticing, but the lack of a full-scale feasibility study is a notable red flag. As for progress on the ground, it's been slow. The preliminary steps of planning are underway, but the project has yet to shift into high gear. That's not surprising, given the scale of the endeavor. We're talking about a land bridge that's set to bypass the Malacca Strait, one of the world's busiest waterways. It's a monumental task, and one that's fraught with challenges. And speaking of challenges, they are plentiful. Apart from the financial and feasibility issues, there are also environmental concerns to consider. The construction of such a massive infrastructure project could have significant environmental ramifications, adding another layer of complexity to the land bridge project. So what's the takeaway here? Well, the land bridge project is still in its infancy, there's a long road ahead with many hurdles to overcome. But if it does eventually come to fruition, it could potentially reshape the global trade landscape. The future of the land bridge project remains uncertain, but its impact could be game-changing. Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. We've journeyed through a complex web of economical, political and geographical factors, all woven around the Malacca Strait, a significant waterway that has long been a vital artery of global trade. Thailand's grand proposal, a $28 billion land bridge, has been envisioned as an alternative route, potentially revolutionizing the dynamics of global maritime trade. The vision of Thai Prime Minister Sreta Tavisin is not merely a grand infrastructure project. It's an ambitious attempt to reshape the world's trade map, linking the Pacific and Indian Oceans. This land bridge could potentially bypass the congested Malacca Strait, creating a new efficient trade route. However, it's not all smooth sailing. The project has been met with a storm of concerns and criticisms. The lack of a full-scale feasibility study, transparency issues and uncertainty over the project's profitability have raised eyebrows among experts and potential investors. As for the current status of the land bridge project, it remains in the realm of uncertainty. The dream is grand, the vision is bold, but the path to realization is riddled with questions. The project's success hinges on whether these concerns can be adequately addressed and whether the international community deems it a profitable and sustainable venture. In the end, it's a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of global trade and the lengths to which nations will go to secure their place in it. Whether the land bridge becomes a reality or remains a dream, it serves as a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of global commerce and the intricate web of factors that influence it. Whether the land bridge becomes a reality or remains a dream, it's a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of global trade. Until next time, keep pondering the world around you.